experts across the world and he developed an operating system with a unique kind of features plus GUI functionality. So and he renamed that and he named that operating system as Linux. Linus Torvald. X they took it from Unix. Linus is a name, starting name for this guy. So if you ask me what is a Linux, I say Linux equal is equals to Unix plus GUI. I repeat, Linux is equals to Unix plus GUI. Well, people say Linux is a Unix clone, but as far as they say, Linux hasn't bought a single single line of code from Unix. They took the Unix features, okay? They took the Unix features and they implemented it their own coding, okay? But however, people call it as a Linux is a Unix flavor or a Unix clone, okay? And also it follows the post 6 compliance. Very easy to port to Linux or, or from Linux to other platforms. Here are the popular Linux operating systems. Okay, Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, SUSE, and various Linux flavors. You talk about any operating system, whether Unix or Linux or Unix flavor or whatever that is, all operating system must provide these five major features. One is multitasking capability. That means a, a user should be in a position to do multiple things at the same time. For example, I, sh I must play the movie in the back end and I should be working at the front, right? I should be playing the music in the background and I should be working on a uh, editor. Multi-user capabilities. More than one user should be in a position to log in. Hierarchical directory structure. So this will talk more in a file systems uh, session. This talks more about the way it stores the data. And most important thing in Unix or Linux things is security when, you, when we compare it with its counterpart called Windows. And of course the portability we looked at. How easy, how easy it is to migrate from one platform to another platform. So platform I mean here is nothing but operating system. Right? No. Now if someone asks you to explain or ask for me to explain the Unix architecture. Okay, we spoke about this is how Unix evolved. This is the Linux and this is the difference between Unix and Linux. Okay, Linux is nothing but Unix plus GUI. But what is the fundamental architecture of Unix? Okay, before you understand this diagram, you must be very comfortable with operating system definition. What did we learn? Operating system is an interface between hardware, hardware and user. Now let me ask you this, why do we need an interface first of all? Why cannot you directly work with hardware? Okay, if you look at the industry evaluation, hardware can understand only zeros and ones. No, it, it can't understand the English or, or the language we speak. It understands only zeros and ones. That's why there was a program called Abacus programming initially. Okay, called the first generation languages. But it was very hard to write programming in Abacus. Right? That's why we went and developed the second generation language called assembly programming. Where we write add, add, multiply, mul. But again that was a real challenge. So that's why we went further and invented third generation languages called C, Java, C++, right? So to make it uh, user interaction very simpler, we went further and developed the fourth generation languages such as PLSQL program, database programming languages, then the latest fifth generation languages which are, uh, you know, related to scientific programming, okay? If you look at this whole evaluation of programming languages, you moved away from hardware. Okay. So if you implement a programming in Abacus and if you write the same programming in C, Abacus programming gives you the best performance because that sits closer to the operating system. But as you move away from the operating system, you sacrifice performance. But your user interface or user interaction is much, much uh, easier. 
okay since we don't understand zeros and ones we need a mediator in middle who converts our english like commands into hardware understandable zeros and ones that's where actually operating system pitches in operating system acts as a mediator to convert whatever the programs we type here or commands here whatever we run here into an hardware understandable zeros and ones so let's say i sit here i type a command called ls we see what is that command ls down the line let's say if i type a command called ls so the command will be given to hardware in a hardware understandable language hardware gives the result back in zeros and ones now your operating system converts and displays it on the screen but if you look at operating system it has two major components okay one is user interface called shell another one is kernel this kernel is like our heart this is a heart of operating system this has all the business logic to convert your english into zeros and ones zeros and ones into english but shell is an interface that's where you and i log in and type commands while we'll, we'll, we'll get exposure to this in the next classes but for time being remember it as hardware why do you need an operating system is for uh, this conversion from english to non-english or non-english to english okay shell is an interface right so here are those three levels you have a kernel core of an operating system shell is an interface that's where we log in and do our work tools and applications the utilities and user programs right now what happens in a real time is let's say if i if i walk into my office tomorrow morning okay i'm here let's say i'm in offshore and my server is installed somewhere in non-site probably it's in Chicago in USA or Malaysia or Singapore wherever the data center my client has so the server gets installed here server I mean here Unix platform or a Linux platform whatever that is installed here but I have to work from remotely okay what I do is I'll find out what is this IP address of this and using the IP address I connect from my remote location it's not only me various other people connect so all these connections that we open are called terminals which are nothing but a dumb terminals the software we use to open these terminals is putty software and i'll cover that how to do the setup in the next class okay till then feel free to write me if you have any queries and if i do a quick recap of what we have covered We looked at what is an operating system, various operating systems, why, how Unix evolved from Multics, how Linux came into the market as one of the major competitors for GUI windows, various Linux flavors, difference between open source, closed source and mixed source, what are these uh, major features of Unix and Linux and we also looked at the basic OS architecture and why do we need operating system at all okay that's all I have for today's class I hope you enjoyed this class as much as I enjoy teaching see you in the next